I'd like to thank the Art Addicts Alliance for inviting me to do this audition. And the theme is Celestial Bodies for this month. So I did a fun quiz online. I just happened to find it somewhere. And it, it told me what celestial body I am. And it says, you defy all expectations. When people assess your success, they don't know what to make of your successes. Um, you are ZF Cosmos, da 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 da, an ancient galaxy that astronomers have observed but cannot explain. It has more stars than the Milky Way, but it is so old it suggests that the only way it could have exist have that many stars is if it was um be, if it um came before the Big Bang. And I just want to say that um. That relates to me because I've defied people's expectations. I'm a, le I'm a legally blind artist, and people do not um, um, understand how I can do the work I've done as an artist and as an art educator for 25 years. Now I'd like to talk about the personal symbolism. I use personal symbolism in my work, and the green crystals represent the physical body, and the, the purple waves represent my emotional body and the the gray clouds my mental body and the blue my the blue is my spiritual body and then I, I, uh, I take notes while I'm working and now this layer is what experience am I experiencing now that affects all levels of my being and that is the pandemic pandemic 2020 quarantine so in this layer I'm expressing that so like I said, I like to use a lot of personal symbolism with colors and shapes and using many layers. And by the way, I am using the Procreate app on my iPad Pro. I'm not just a digital artist. Um, at the end of this video, please stay tuned because I'd like to show you more of my, just a little bit more of my other artwork. So here it is. The next layer is going to be things I'm doing for self-care during this time. And I'm going to use colors and shapes to represent this. So now I'm adding this layer. The purple stars represent um, my doing tons of artwork for self-care. Uh, the red hearts represent spending time and talking with friends and family. The white splashes represent eating and drinking healthly, healthy. The blue dots represent meditation and prayer. And the clouds represent getting enough rest. And now I'm going in with the blue for deep space to start representing my celestial body. So um, I consider myself a multimedia artist and I, j uh, I just want to give you a heads up again about the end of this video. I'd like to just uh, share just a few pieces of other artwork that I've done besides just the digital art that I do. I really love digital art. Um, the, 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 just the one downfall about, and I, and I especially love iPad digital art, especially because of my vision. Uh, the iPad I can hold I can hold up to my face and work with it a lot easier than on a laptop. I just cannot do digital art on a laptop because uh, I can't get close enough to it. And the only downfall is that I I really like handmade art, so that's that's the thing about that. So now I'm going to add a silhouette of a dancer, 
and now I'm app jumping into LensLight app. So I left Procreate app and now I'm in LensLight app and this app offers all different kinds of really cool lighting effects. And then you can edit the lighting effects. But yeah, that's the thing about digital art is that you really can't um, have something that's handmade. You can print things out and then hand embellish them and even add in caustic. I've done that. So the, this um, next app I'm going into is the Matter app. And this is really cool for really cool three-dimensional objects that you can even animate them. And I'm going to show you that. So there I turned on the, an wait, I'm about to turn on the animation. So there you go, uh, that, that animates the object. And there's tons of um, 3D objects to choose from, but I happen to like this one. And now I just want to show you, this is the finished piece, and I changed, uh, I changed the colors and lighting and um, and you can look at, I see it as you can look at it as separate celestial bodies or one celestial body that, that represents myself as was, it, what, as was like um, determined by that quiz. So it was just a, con just a fun way of, of a concept of way of doing it. And now here are the um, examples of artwork I'd like to show you. This is alcohol ink painting on paper. I love alcohol ink painting. Again, digital painting, iPad digital painting. This is um, ink on paper. Uh, um, this is mixed media. And this is acrylic. Thank you so much for watching.